Hi, this is Josh with Bedbug Supply. Today I'm going to do a quick overview of the very popular JT Eaton Kills Bedbugs Powder. This is a residual powder that uses food grade diatomaceous earth. Diatomaceous earth, or DE for short, is a fine powder made of fossilized algae. This stuff is commonly found in cat litter, pool filters, and even some toothpaste. In this case, we're using diatomaceous earth to cling to a bedbug's exoskeleton and absorb the sticky fluid on their skin, which will dehydrate and kill them. Using JT Eaton's powder is easy. Just uh, puff it into tight cracks and crevices throughout the room, like along the edges of your baseboards, behind switches and outlets, and in the joints of furniture. Using a professional powder applicator will make this job a lot easier, cleaner, and more effective. Once the powder is in place, it will work indefinitely as long as it stays dry. That's why we recommend it. It can be used in places that sprays can't, and it acts as a long-term defense when used in combination with the residual sprays. So let's put on our gloves and do a couple of quick treatments. Before getting started with the treatment, make sure that you've read the product label in MSDS. This is found on the back of the bottle and it's critical because you want to make sure that you follow the instructions for safe and effective usage. When applying powders, you definitely want to be wearing gloves. For larger treatments, you may also want to wear a dust mask. Most small bo powder bottles like this 7 ounce come with usable nozzles, but for best results, you really should be using a professional powder applicator. This will help you get into those hard to reach places and it'll also help to conserve powder. To fill the applicator, we want to first make sure that the brass rod on the back and the straw cap on the front are both secured. This is to prevent any spilling. Let's pop the lid off, check inside. We're only going to fill the bell about halfway so we can pop the uh, cap off of our bottle and start filling. Let's cover the bell to prevent any dust from coming out in the air. Give it a few good pumps. Alright, that's good. We're about halfway and we're ready to start treating. Let's start our treatments with this common crevice where the molding meets the floor. Typically the space is caulked, but there, are still be, there will still be uh, holes and gaps here that bed bugs can hide in. So we definitely don't want to skip this. We're just going to fit the nozzle into these cracks where the, uh, between the, the floorboards and the baseboard. And just give it a light puff once the applicator is in place. That's all you need. I actually have a little bit of extra there, but you can always wipe off any excess with um, a damp cloth. I'll repeat this every six inches or so until the perimeter of the room is sufficiently treated. The trick to doing a powder treatment right is to take kind of a less is more approach. We don't want to pack a ton of powder in here and we definitely don't want to have loose powder open in, uh, in, in out in open space. This stuff can be harmful to breathe in and it can be hard to remove from carpet and other flooring. So keep things clean and safe and only put in a little bit of powder where it's needed. You want to make sure that you treat every crack and crevice in the room. Bed bugs can hide anywhere a credit card can fit, which means we need to check around appliances, inside deep cracks of furniture, and anywhere else with any small tight spaces. For example, we have a door frame in the room with a long crack where it meets the wall, and several holes where metal is inserted. So let's first give these holes a quick puff or two. It's actually a little bit extra, but we can get the rest off with a damp cloth. You'll know there's more than enough powder in there once you see it puffing out a little bit. And for bigger openings like this, make sure to get the straw all the way in. Then we can move on to these seams where the frame is molded into the wall, puffing every few inches. Then again on this side. And so on until the seam is completely treated. Now we can move on to a common place that people overlook when doing bed bug treatments. Just about every room in the home is going to have a light switch and a few electrical outlets. Bed bugs can squeeze behind this base plate and even into the switch of the outlet opening itself. So let's take a flathead screwdriver get this plate off.
Now we want to make sure the nozzle is deep in there so that we can sufficiently coat the inside with powder. These jobs are time consuming, but you should only have to do it once. So you owe it to yourself to be thorough here. So that's a quick overview of the JT and Kills Bed Bugs powder. It's available online at bedbugsupply.com in three different sizes. We have the seven ounce bottle. This is usually for homeowners since uh, each bottle will last about one to two rooms. If you have a larger home, you'll need more bottles. Uh, or you can size up to the four pound bag or the 10 pound pail. These uh, have a much better price per ounce, so professionals that are doing this frequently will get a little bit of savings by si sizing up to these larger sizes. Uh, but they're all available on bedbugsupply.com, including the professional powder applicator. You can ask us about them seven days a week. Uh, open up a live chat or call us toll free at 866-238-9868. As always, this is Josh with bedbugsupply.com.